Umwuka niwe utanga ubugingo umubiri ntacumaze Umwuka ni utanga ubugingo umubiri ntacumaze amen amen Zaburi Zaburi Jana na kane murongo wa 33 Wohereza umwuka wawe wohereza umwuka wawe bikaremwa wohereza umwuka wawe bikaremwa ubutaka ubusubiza ho ubugingo busha amen ubutaka nabwo kabusubiza mu bugingo busha amen sema ana nakiri jambo ryima turishimiye ma tugiye kuganira amagambo ya pentecost turi muri pentecost ejo nizo tariki za nyuma muri pentecost Tarifistano, Nejo, Nejo, Pentecoste, Nio Turimo, Prochimima, Nito Gesche, Kuri Pentecoste, Nio Nge Kuvu Gabukea, Introduction, Zo Komereza, Wejo, Puerako, Pentecoste, Turimo, Sema Ame, Sema Ame. Pentecoste ya baye ho kuva kera sinzi kubera ko mutakoresha igiswahili cyangwa izongereza narushe Sema ame Arivuze ngo tugiye kuganira Pentecoste I say the church on Pentecost Pentecost ni ni gikogwa Pentecost is an activity that existed from the Old Testament. It is started from the Old Testament. It is started in the Old Testament. The Bible shows us clearly to Pentecost in the Old Testament because it was a great day. It was a feast. For the Hebrews, they used to celebrate and they'll thank God for the harvest. 
from the harvest. They will harvest and rejoice. They will harvest so much and rejoice in God. Because of the way they celebrated. And that harvest. There will be feast to thank God. Because of the harvest they received. Those days existed. And those days. The word tells us 50 days. And they'll thank God. Seven weeks. Thanking God. And they'll praise God. Because of the harvest. Yeah, Amen. 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 But in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, so we find Pentecost again. But Pentecost in the New Testament it has more power because of the Holy Spirit of God. In the Old Testament Pentecost and the power of the harvest it was power for the harvest. And in the New Testament it's power of the Holy Spirit. Because in the New Testament Pentecost was a great day for the Hebrews. And it is the day the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples. He came to the disciples on that day. Therefore, what we are going to share, which is valuable to us, as well as the church, is Pentecost in the New Testament. Amen. Amen. Pentecost in the New Testament. When you speak on it, because it is what helps us, and it looks into us, it is what we remember. Amen. Amen. We remember Pentecost of the New Testament. The one tells us testament in the New Testament, Pentecost in the New Testament, it starts, it starts from the apostles. And in the apostles, he came to the apostles, the Holy Spirit and we promised from long ago, the Holy Spirit existed from long ago, God sent the Holy Spirit, like we read in Psalms, he will send the Holy Spirit and he would create, the Holy Spirit of God, creates, Amen. Amen. I will try to speak to you the value of the Holy Spirit. I will speak to you what is valuable of the Holy Spirit. Some things are valuable to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit creates. The Holy Spirit creates. The word says he sent the Holy Spirit and he created. God sent his spirit and then there is creation. There is the existence of something. The Holy Spirit makes living. The word says that the Holy Spirit of God gives life. He brings life. He brings life. The Holy Spirit of God gives life. Amen. 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 A person has no Holy Spirit of God. When the church has no Spirit of God, it is a dead church. The Spirit makes us to breathe. And God knows their people. Amen. 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 The Spirit of God creates life. It creates life. It says when it comes to the ground, it changes a new one. It comes to a person. And a person becomes new because of the power of the Holy Spirit. God of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God brings life. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. The Spirit of God in the New Testament and in the Church of God brings life. The Church when they saved it on the cross Pentecost Pentecost fills Easter. It completes Easter. If only there was Easter without the Pentecost, there would be no completion. Amen. 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 It is the reason Easter and Pentecost all the same. Because both of them gave birth to the church. Meaning that Easter and Pentecost when both filled each other, when both complimented each other, there was past Easter and it went by. And after 50 days, Pentecost came and it came to complete the Easter and the church was born. The church existed. The church received life. And church breathed. Amen. Amen. Therefore, Pentecost brought to the revelation the church. And the church had life. And the church walked. And the church existed. Until today, we have the church because of the power of the Holy Spirit and because of the Spirit of God. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. 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 Without the Holy Spirit, nothing exists in the eyes of God and in the power of God. To God, whoever thinks they live who is counted as living is one full of the Holy Spirit whom God sent the Holy Spirit to. Amen. 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 The Spirit of God is life. And the second one, we find in the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, or the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God. Amen. It comes to change us and to become children of God. Without the Spirit of God, the grace, a person cannot be a child of God. Amen. 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 A person can confess Jesus Christ. A person can know Jesus was crucified. A person can know God the Father. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you don't go down as the child of God. You don't become a child of God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the Holy Spirit of God is a sign that reveals to the Son of God. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, those are the children of God. Those who are in the Spirit of God, who become the children of God, and the children of God. The DNA of God what connects us to God is the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is Spirit and those who are supposed to live with God, those who should be children of God, and to worship Him, those who should honor God, and pray to Him, are those in the Spirit of God. Jesus told them that the time has come, and it has been fulfilled, that those who pray to the Father, should pray in truth and spirit, 
Ils sont sur le but. 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 Ils sont sur Those that he loves. To the people that he wants. Are people full of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of God. Is the one. That reveals us the children of God. Amen. You can look like Christ without his spirit. You can look like God without the spirit of God. The last is when God created the son of man. He breathed life into him. So that he can look like him. God planned to create man. Who has his image. Who looks like him. And he created him. And the spirit of God. Is the image of God. He created man and breathed life into him. That is how God saw himself in the Son of Man. Amen. Looking like God and being a child of God is to have his spirit. Those not full of the spirit of God. Those who don't have the spirit of God. They can live with God. God does not know them and he does not hear them. Because whoever belongs to God has his spirit. Looking like God is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit of God and the third thing what it does to the church the value of the Holy Spirit before God and the church. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God connects us to God and people. When we become children of God, full of the Holy Spirit of God, it gives us to live with people and God. When a person is not filled with the Spirit of God, they can live with God. And they don't know how to live with the people of God. The livelihood of a person and man, and God, how a person lives with another person, is the spirit. When you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can live with other people and you can live with things of God because you don't have the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit makes people to live with others and God. Where there is the Holy Spirit of God and is the greatness of God. Where there is the great Spirit of God. There are other people. Paul told people that live with all people in peace. No one can live with everyone in peace when they are not filled with the Spirit. And Paul wrote to the Galatians chapter 5 and verse 27 and he said these are the fruits of the Holy Spirit and the first fruit is love. When a person is filled with the Holy Spirit they have love. Love. And when they have love, they live with people in peace. Because love is the existence, the livelihood. Love is to live together. The Bible says that love it forgives everything and it leaves everything because there is forgiveness as well as living everything. It makes you to live in peace. You live with everyone. That is power of the Holy Spirit and value of the Holy Spirit. Because God does not know how to live with another. There is no other reason but they don't have the Holy Spirit. 
and not live with the devil. They can live with God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says whoever hates the neighbor should not lie that they love God. Because how can you love God when you don't love your neighbor? You love God whom you don't see. The power of the Holy Spirit there's nothing else but love. Nothing brings love but the Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit of God it gives us to live in peace. Amen. Amen. This is the Holy Spirit of God. It has an absolute God. Joy. Joy. It is the life of living with other people. Joy. It's life of living with God. When you rejoice, when you're happy, you live with God. When you rejoice and you're happy, you live with people. Amen. 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 When a person is full of the spirit of God, they are full of joy. And it makes people come to them. As well as God Himself. And He lives. As well as people. The Bible says that another fruit of the Spirit is patience. Perseverance. Perseverance. Amen. Perseverance is the fruit of the Spirit which the Spirit gives to the church as well as in a person. And it makes them come to their destinations. They come to what God created them for. Because without the perseverance, a person who is not patient, those people never come to their plans. Amen. The world says, Blessed are those who persevere. Because when they are accepted, they will receive the crown of life. Amen. Blessed are those who persevere. Because when they persevere, they will be crowned. No person gains victory. No comes to the victory without persevering. The Holy Spirit of God it gives the church as well as Christians it brings to people perseverance for the temptation until they come to the end. Amen. And James told his brothers it says when you look at all those attempts you, and then you are not patient enough amen you complete your deeds perseverance makes a deed complete amen amen hallelujah a person who does not persevere cannot live with people and God they never come to their destination when you are full of the spirit of God it gives people to be patient amen the devil and all the tribulations. And we have so many problems. We have winds and storms and problems. They all come to us. What happened yesterday is part of that. Yesterday. Yesterday a storm fell on us. And whoever was patient. As I saw right now will come to the end. Amen. Amen. Church of Christ, be filled with the Spirit of God. And let him make you perseverance. Perseverance. It brings you. Amen. It brings this. And be great. Perseverance tells you to be patient. Don't fear. This is what God says. This is the promise of God. We have the promise of God. We have the promise of God. Perseverance brings all the promises. Amen. And it tells you to be patient. It tells to be patient. Be patient for Jesus said. We have promises. 
Umuka wera. And the Lord says the Holy Spirit. It gives another fruit called gentleness. There are people who are not gentle. There are people who are not gentle at all. Please, umuka wera. It brings us gentleness. A person is gentle. And heart. A gentle heart. Amen. Has a very big value in a person. To make rash decisions. Being gentle. Amen. Gentle. Being gentle. Gentleness. It makes a person. A person. Do things in a calm way. A lot of calmness. This makes a person to work calmly. And they do their things well. Just because of being gentle. Gentleness in the heart. A gentle heart has a calm heart. The world says, calm your heart and live with God. Lashi does not live with God. A person that lives with God does not live with God. And David asked my heart, why do you stand with me? Do you know the gentleness of the Lord? Why do you stand in me? Amen. Why do you stand in me? Don't you know that Because the spirit of God makes a person. Trust in me. my father's house, there are so many houses. Amen. Amen. A gentle heart lives with God and lives with people. The Holy Spirit of God gives gentleness to people and we live with God. Amen. And the Spirit of God brings kindness. A person is full of the Spirit of God. And you are a woman for the Bibles. The world says this. A person is an organ of the other. Meaning that an organ Helps another. The spirit of God. And to make us organs. To organ of Christ. You are full of the When you are full of the society. That is what it happens. And you become kind. And you work. You are kind to people. You are kind to the church. You are kind to your family. You are a kind person. When you are full of the spirit of God, it gives you to the people. When a person serves the neighbor, the word says that, a person must be born again and knows God, full of the spirit of God. It puts the neighbor first. In the laws of God, it was broken into two promises, two promises. And the first one, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your life and all your strength as well as all your life. And then he says, and another one, love your neighbors to love yourself. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. It is serving your neighbor. Giving them services. It is being good. Amen. 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 The livelihoods of people. Being kind. Those full of the spirit of God. They're supposed to be kind. They're supposed to do good. They're supposed to serve others. They're supposed to help other people. Amen. The spirit of God in the church. 
you don't give if you don't give if nothing gets out of you you don't have the Holy Spirit and you can't live with people this is the reason you fight with everyone this is the reason you have so many problems because there is no spirit of God and you can't live with people you can't live with them you can't live with them you can't live with them Tuo <laughs> is the one who can humble themselves who can come down and serve other people who can put their neighbor before them and the word again tells us that that our people live with God as well as with other people is the time the spirit of God is in you and it gives you being righteous the power to be righteous. Righteousness is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. A fruit of the Spirit. And the power of Pentecost. When people are not filled with Pentecost of the New Testament who is the Holy Spirit of God they can be able to be righteous. Righteousness is standing in your responsibilities not destroying your responsibilities. Righteousness is to not be on It is knowing who you are among other people. Who am I in my family? Who am I in the church? Who am I? Which is my responsibility. And then they become righteous in what they do. Amen. Amen. Righteousness is to fulfill your responsibilities. To fulfill what you are given. It is to come to the conclusion what you promised. Whatever you are given. That is righteousness. And you can do it on your own. But unless the spirit of you. It is the reason many people find it hard to take it off. Because they don't follow the word. It is a command. It is a responsibility. What we have. When we can do it for people. But when we are full of the Spirit, we are righteous in tithing and offering. You are righteous in your home. A husband is righteous. And the wife in the place. And children in their position. And the glory of the power of the Spirit. And the place of the Spirit. As well as good living styles. Amen. Amen. Another thing about the spirit. It gives us the power to live with people. Because it gives us self-control. Self-control. Is a fruit the spirit puts in a person. Or brings in a person. That is so good. Self-control makes a person to know themselves. When a person does not know who they are, they can know another people. Every person when they don't know who they are, they don't know other people. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Without self-control, you can't control other people. A person who does not know how to control themselves cannot control another people. 
quick control so that you can control yourself kugira ngo ubashe kwimenya and to know who you are umenye ma, 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 umenye imipaka yawe and know your boundaries umenye ngo ndavahangera ha and know i start here and end here nduyu kugera ha this is who i am until i get to this point nimbaraga sumuka we this is the power of the holy spirit numuka we ruzu kugeramo the spirit comes to you kandi kurya wirinze and then you control yourself usurinda na mugenzi wa you control even your neighbors kurya wirinda so you control yourself uba wiha amahoro you give yourself peace iyo wiha mahoro and when you give yourself peace, uya heza na mugenzi wa give it to other people iyo wiha umutekano when you give peace iyo wichungira umutekano when you take care of your security uchungira na mugenzi wa you secure even your neighbor nicho give us utanga kuri mugenzi wa is the time give it to your neighbors but every person who the controller who control themselves that show them no control ava they can control other people utirinda when you don't control tashora no kurinda ba you can control other people kwirinda self control kuba mu bintu bibiri binini as to great things in it ichambere and the first one nuku ukuzana mahoro it brings peace kanta ya mahoro and that peace ni uzuhe saba is what you give to other people sema amen Amen. Sema amen. Amen. Abantu batagira mahoro ndi bazo bayaheza ba. People with that peace in them can. Wo yatanga gututayagi. You can give what you don't have. Ikibasu fite. Because they have. Nuko tamuka wera. The problem they have is they don't have the Holy Spirit. Sema amen. Amen. Kuyo mundu busunda mahoro na ubwiwe yarayibujije ndayagira. A person does not give peace have no peace within themselves. Kuberako because atazi kwirinda. They don't know how to control them. Hazi kwirinda. They don't have self control. Kwirinda. Self control. Ni muri bimwe bikuzana amahoro. Is part of all brings. Amahoro yuzura muri wewe. And it fills you. Ukabona kuyaheza mugenzi. And you can give it to other people. Ichakabi. And the second one. Kwirinda. Self control. Sema amen. Amen. Gutuma umenya ibyo ibyo ugomba gukora n'ibyo utagomba gukora. It makes you know your boundaries. Usumenye ibyo ushinzwe. kamenya nibyo dashinzwe you know what you are supposed to do and what you are not supposed to do kureba, you know what kamenye bitakure what concerns you and what does not concern you umuntu wese utazi kwirinda azayinjirira abandi azaza mu myanya y'abandi akabaho ugongana and they take positions of other people in this azaza na sirikwi they bring conflict azaza na azaza ni bibaso and they bring problems kubera ko yinjira mu myanya y'abantu because it takes position yinjira mu busima bw'abantu and the lives of other people yinjira mu bitarize it goes into things that don't belong to a fatini meritarie and they take agateza conflict and they bring conflict to other people sirikwi they bring conflict ariko uyu mundu yusu umwuka wera wima so a person is full of the spirits of hallelujah amen azayi control they control themselves akusura mahoro and they are filled with amara kusura mahoro and when they are full of akaya heza bandi they give it to other akabana nabantu bose amahoro and they live with people in peace akongera kandi and then again akamenya ivse akamenya umwanya we they know their akamenya role ye they know their role akamenya akinira and where they are akafatiyo zamu yiwe and they take their role bigatuma yuzuzanya na mugenzi we bigatera mugenzi wiwe naho gukora neza ngo bakabana amahoro and they live in peace iyo umuntu ari mu mwanya wiwe when a person takes their position umuntu akaba mu mwanya we every person in that position we complement one another azaba ukuzuza there is complement kandi yo haba yo kuzuza and when you complement one another igikogwa kibatuzuye the deed becomes good umuka wera wima The spirit of God. Sema amen. Amen. Numubanisha wabantu nabandi. Is what makes people live together. Numubanisha wabantu nima. He makes people to live with God. Iyo tari mu muka wera wima. When you are not in the spirit of God. Imana ntibi wawe. God is not in you. Imana ntiba mu mutima wawe. He is not in your heart. Nabantu tiba ba mu mutima. Even people are not in your heart. Sema amen. Sema amen. Amen. Bafani mwe bene 